everyone, welcome back to the Colorful Foodie channel. I'm Anna and today I'm going to teach you how to make Brigadeiro, which is a Brazilian chocolate fudge ball. For written directions and full picture tutorial, click the link below the video and it'll take you right to it. And for those of you who have no idea what Brigadeiro is, hi, I'm Brazilian and we make Brigadeiro there. It's a Brazilian fudge ball. By there, I mean in Brazil and then us Brazilians that leave Brazil make Brigadeiro and introduce it to all of our friends who don't know about it yet. So these condensed milk chocolate balls filled with goodness and rolled in sprinkles will make it to your table this Easter. Oh, Brigadeiro is not a typical Easter sweet, although I don't see why it wouldn't be, but it's a typical birthday party for children, but we love to eat it all the time. We Brazilians eat are these eggs, chocolate eggs that are usually filled with more chocolate, and this is the smallest one you'll ever find. This one you'll ever find is probably like a hundred times bigger than this way bigger than my head and they're no longer allowed in my household let's go ahead and make the brigadeiro. these are the three ingredients that you need to make brigadeiro one can of condensed milk one tablespoon of butter three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder today i'm going to use the cacao powder instead of the cocoa powder which is completely fine these are interchangeable for the purposes of this recipe and we start off the recipe by adding one can of condensed milk to a saucepan. A tablespoon of butter. And yes, it's unsweetened cocoa powder because you get all your sweetness from the condensed milk, which is very, very sweet. Medium heat and mix. And then you mix. You mix. You don't really step away from this because it can go horribly wrong. Now you're mixing and you're waiting for it to thicken and it's usually ready when you can see the bottom of the pen like that. Now you have two choices. Stop right now and let it rest and eat it as a brigadeiro de panela, which is just like you can eat it like this when it's chilled or cool. A couple of minutes and wait till it's like this. Like it doesn't go in as quick and you know it's ready and once it's chilled you can form into balls. Into chocolate balls! But yeah, see? This is the consistency that you want. So now we're going to chill it and then we're going to roll it. I just grabbed a regular plate and I kind of put some butter on it. And I'm just going to spoon the brigadeiro in there. But you see how it is? This fudgy consistency. And let it cool either at room temperature or in the fridge for two hours. Just like that, it's ready in like under 10 minutes. You can eat this as brigadeiro de colher or brigadeiro de panela, which we just eat it with a spoon like this. I like this actually. I really enjoyed the cacao, the raw cacao taste. It's really a lot more bitter. It's really, really rich in antioxidants and in fiber nutritional content. So, I mean, we're making brigadeiro here, which is already pretty fattening. So, using the cacao powder makes me feel better. It's better for you. <laughs> It just so happens that it tastes really good with the recipe and it's also really good for you, but you can use whatever cocoa powder you want. This is delicious. Here's a last look at what it should look like. See, it's still hot, but it's already like fudged. It out, so it's room temperature. These are ready to be rolled and then they're served into these little forms traditionally. Pinch off a small piece of fudge and roll it up into a ball. That's what it looks like after it's rolled up and we roll them in sprinkles. Or you can make them a little healthier and roll them in cacao nibs, which is like the raw form of the powder that I use to actually make this fudge better. And this is what they look like. And you can make many of them if you keep them small. See, I still have more than half the batter or the fudge. Wrap these strawberries in there or wrap them around and make it a little healthier treat. Flatten out the fudge and place the strawberry in the center and then wrap it around. And I did just that and then I shaped it and wrapped it around the sprinkles. And it's a stuffed strawberry brigadeiro. Next, I took half of the mini chocolate egg and stuffed it with some of the brigadeiro fudge. And I'm flattening it out. It's done. And then we finish it off with some sprinkles. And someone can eat this with a little spoon. And at the end of the day, 
you make about 30 to 35 small brigadeiros out of this batter or so-called batter, and I think it's totally worth your effort. I am obsessed with these. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. And if so, don't forget to hit like, subscribe yeah. to the Colorful Foodie channel as well as ColorfulFoodie.com. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to keep it colorful.